Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys about gameplay for NBA 2K15. Guys are playing it in the background right now. Uh, Ronnie 2K, Chris Manning, everybody is here. What's up, the game with QJB, Two Brothers Gaming. Ronnie is still here, acting a fool. Um, I'm here to talk about gameplay, so let's jump into it, man. First of all, let's talk about the 131, the zigzag, the charge cheese, the pick and roll cheese, and the double tap and Y or triangle cheese. This is a lot to talk about. So, zigzag cheese, um, to counteract the zigzag cheese, they've kind of made it like a smoother animation, like my head. Yeah. So, it's a smoother, anima <laughs> smoother animation. Basically, what happens is when a person is zigzagging, the defender kind of sways with him. But it seems like a slower feel for both players. Also, if a player zigzag cheeses and then they try to pull up for a jump shot while moving or even standing alone, the shot meter that they've implemented in the game kind of interacts with that entire animation. So say your shot meter is about right here, and this is the full meter. And the player you're using has a shot meter like efficiency of about that. If you're zigzagging and all of that, guess what happens? It closes to about right here. And while you're zigzagging, it will immediately take it out and you'll miss the shot. You'll be pissed, but that's because you were zigzagging. Now, in and out. <laughs> in and out. Yeah, the in and out is crazy. Um, now, let's talk about charge cheese. Um, a lot of people set up half court. They set up at the three-point line. They set up within the three-point line, you know, trying to take the charge. So, let's talk about that. Charge cheese is all the way going. If you try to run into a defender, look at Mike Wayne. <laughs> you run to the side, like if you're moving to the right and the player stands up straight, guess what's going to happen? You're going to bump him. You're going to have a little bump animation, but you're still going to be keep going. And he's going to get bumped back like, oh, man, why did I take that charge? So, charge cheese is gone. 131 cheese. 131 has completely been taken out. So, that is not even an option to choose that defensive set, period. The double jump cheese when you try to block it, then go for a rebound, that's been fixed. When you jump initially for a block, you go for the block. If he misses it and you don't get the block, you can jump for the rebound. You won't jump again and be like, hey, you, won't, you won't do that anymore. So that's been taken out. Um, what else? Let's talk about shooting. Shooting. Gameplay-wise, shooting looks a whole lot better because of the shot meter. And when I mean this shot meter, guys, it's not something that you can actually, like, really, 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 really perfect because it's so many, like, Scott, it's so many different things and, you know, type of feels for it. So if you're shooting a regular standalone jump shot, somebody's in a corner, um, that, is that their hot zone? Is it their cold zone? Is it their neutral zone? What's their shot meter at right then? How perfect can you actually get the release? There's so many different things that goes into the shot meter. So shooting is going to be something that a lot of people are really going to want to shoot open. You're not going to want to shoot with a defender in your face. Some players can hit shots with defenders in their face, but, you know, that's just how that goes. Uh, what else? Let's talk about the dribbling. Um, there's something new in 2K15. There's the signature dribble animation. So if you flick the right stick, just the right stick towards the basket, wherever you are on the court, that player has his own dribble animation. Like Kyrie Irving's dribble animation. Oh, my God, bro. bro. That dribble animation is insane. Yo, they even got the sham guy joining here. Like, it's crazy. Um, what else is crazy? Um, let's talk about dunking. Posterizer. Posterizer has kind of been toned down a little bit. Even though Zach Levine, best kept freaking in the game. I'll tell you guys more about that in a personal video. But um, dunking, it's more like if you're a posterizer, right, and your person goes into like a posterizing animation, somebody can block that shot. Now, somebody asked me about, you know, would you still get sucked into the dunk animation? You kind of will get sucked into a dunk animation, but it's up to you to try to block that shot so if you get sucked in he's about to go up you need to go up with him like you got to hit triangle don't just let it happen hit triangle go for the block have somebody come over with help with help defense try to block the shot because we all know with posterizers they always have the ball exposed you know because they it's the animation they want to have that posterizer animation so you really want to have help defense and if it's just you and him try your best you know, but it's not like it happens every single time. You know, posterizers don't happen every single time. Now, let's talk about alley-oop cheese real quick. When throwing an alley-oop, you really want to have a guy cut into the basket and a guy on either the little bit slightly to the middle to the side or somebody, you know, like not baseline 
at the rim, but baseline, you know, over near the three-point line to throw the alley-oop. And you have to make sure that you don't have anybody that's there to either block it or tip it because now alley-oops can be tipped a lot. Um, also, layup cheese like Chris Paul, you run to the paint, somebody trailing, you just throw it up in the air. It, it won't work like that. Um, if you throw it up in the air, that player, like who's ever defending you, will either tip it or, you know, the person that's running to get it, if they don't have good hands or you don't have, you know, a good passing rating, the ball will either go up in the air and it's up for grabs or, you know, it'll hit like the rim or the backboard or something like that. And, you know, those type of things happen. Let's talk about passing. Uh, passing feels better. Um, I passed it. Plenty of times, like side, 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 you know, from the middle starting, you know, one player go back to him, go back to him. That's all right. Now, passing it to the paint, back and forth, I did that where I passed it to MB, passed it back to Michael Carter Williams, you know, seeing if the defender would, you know, tip it out of air, tip it out of air, tip it out of air. And it happened rarely, but it can happen if that player has good awareness, a good steal rating, has active hands or something like that, you know, where they can catch balls out of midair. Um, what else? Uh, gameplay wise, I think that's I think that's really about it. Um, blocking is still there. Um, defensive sets two three three two man to man. They have the uh, presses full court half court and all that, but one three one is gone. Um, what else about the gameplay? Uh, everything else is pretty good pretty good um what i'm going to do is uh what i want you guys to do is inside the comment section leave me a bunch of questions so i can answer these questions for you because like i said we're going to be playing this game all day long so anything you guys ask me via twitter uh via the comment section i'll be able to answer for you guys but this is ikc signing out i need to get back to the game i did this for y'all peace yeah.